In this video, I'm going to explain how to use residential assemblies. On the screen here, you'll see I have an estimate created, and I have a section called Room Edition. I'm going to go over to the right, click Take Off Edit, it'll open up so I can input some materials. Now again, the basis of, of uh, estimating electrical or estimating with Red Rhino is, is to make a material list and input the materials into Red Rhino. Now I want to explain that that uh, assemblies make that process a lot faster. I'm just going to put my cursor on this line right here and move it over, what I call unsquinch. When I open this up, it's showing the product catalog here, and I want to explain that residential basically just lives in two places. It lives in the product catalog under 6,000, self-explanatory, right? Residential, Romex, and plastic boxes. I want to explain something. With Red Rhino software, when we're talking about estimating residential, we always mean plastic boxes and Romex. If you're required to use metal boxes and pipe and wire for residential, you would watch the commercial videos. Okay, I'm going to go up here and click on the assemblies, and when I do, it opens up the assembly catalogs. Now, self-explanatory here, residential is 100. I click the plus sign next to that, and it displays subcategories of assemblies for residential. Receptacles, switches, lighting, ceiling fans, smoke detectors, low-voltage doorbell, uh, panels and home runs, dryers, hot waters, range of an AC, etc. Okay, so next we're going to drill down into one and take a look. I'm just going to open up receptacles here. I click on it and it populates assemblies at the bottom. I won't read all these off. My purpose in this is just show you where they are so you can learn about how to use them. But let me just explain. Since we have pre-built assemblies in Red Rhino, then what I could do is just go to the blueprints or drawings and I could count all the 15 amp receptacles and I'd come here and put them in as an assembly. Now I'm just going to put one assembly in here of the 15 amp a duplex, one gang 15 amp duplex receptacle. Put a quantity of one and click add. When I do it populates a list of materials. This is the way that Red Rhino displays assemblies. It shows a description of the assembly first and a dashed line at the bottom separating it from the next entry. Okay, so I'm just going to click the save button, but I want to make a note of something or, or tell you something here. If you choose, you can go change any of these items before you click save. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it, and then I'll describe what the outcome is. So this assembly for a 15 amp receptacle displays one plastic box, a standard 15 amp receptacle, a plate, 30 feet of Romex, eight staples, some uh, labor for drilling holes, and some red wire nuts, okay? Again, that's the nature of these assemblies. They include everything needed to do one thing. Next, I'm going to drill down in the dryers, hot water and range, and oven and AC. So I'm going to click on the drop, or rather click on it, and it displays the assemblies at the bottom here. Now, I'm just going to go input one of these assemblies. I'm going to input a 30 amp AC feed. So I click in the quantity box, type in one, scroll up to the top, click add, and it populates what's in the assembly. In this case, I want to show you something. This is a case where you might edit what, what, the, what is in the assembly. In this case, it shows a 30 amp disconnect switch, a pull out type residential disconnect switch, 60 feet of Romex. I'm going to go back and change that. Uh, 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 connectors to connect the Romex. Look here, a one pole 30 amp, I'm sorry, one two pole 30 amp circuit breaker, some staper, staples, having a hard time talking, steel tight half inch, right, with, with uh, uh, connectors and wire and mounting hardware. So again, this assembly includes a disconnect switch, the uh, a, a home run, a circuit breaker, and seal tight con to connect the AC unit. Now back to my example here, I'm going to say that I know that this uh, this home run, the panel is more than 60 feet away. I'm I, I measure it, I know it's 90 feet, so I'm going to change the 60 to 90 here, okay? So in these assemblies, sometimes you adjust them to what you know the conditions are of the job. I'm just going to go ahead and, and save it. And then when it saves, I just go on to the next assembly. I'm just going to show one more example in this video. I'm going to go down the same category and I'm going to input a residential 30 amp hot water feed with without disconnect. So 
meaning no disconnect. Put a quantity of one in here, scroll up to the top, click add, and it populates a material list. Now, once again, this assembly includes 50 feet of 10-2 Romex. Again, you can change that if you know that it's different. Maybe, or it's a different distance, I should say. In this case, I'm just going to say it's, I know it's 40 feet. So I'm going to type in 40. Now, again, this assembly includes the plastic box, the Romex, connectors, a circuit breaker. Um, again, steel flex for connecting the, um, for connecting the water heater. Okay, I scroll up to the top and click save to save my assembly. That's all in this video. Again, play around with these assemblies and they really do speed up the time it takes to estimate a project.